Dr. Hajela has been on the front lines of addiction treatment and advocacy for over 30 years. Dr. Hajela's mission is to promote awareness related to physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being. When he speaks, you immediately sense his sincere yet strong resolve to enhance the quality of life for individuals, families, and communities. Please welcome Dr. Hajela. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, all the organizers of Recovery Day. Thank you, Mayor Nenshi, for gracing us with their, your presence. And thank you all for being here, because your presence here is testament that we can talk openly and honestly about this disease of addiction and related mental health problems that ravage our society and societies across our nation and internationally. Addiction is a disease that is so insidious and as I often say that there's no gene pool that's uncontaminated. I'm sure you've heard before and you've heard today about the genetic aspects of this disease. I started medical school over 35 years ago in Halifax and I can tell you at that time I was puzzled by why people who are otherwise sane would act in an insane manner. And when I asked my teachers at that time at worst, what I was told was, these are just bad people, which didn't make any sense to me. And at best, people told me, well, these are people that just have bad behaviors, and it's very difficult to <coughs> correct habits. But I can stand before you today and say that we have had tremendous amount of research over the last several decades that has clearly established addiction as a brain disease. Addiction is a disease that now is being recognized by the American Society of Addiction Medicine, Canadian Society of Addiction Medicine, and the International Society of Addiction Medicine as a disease of brain reward, motivation, memory, and related circuitry. So it is not just about reward, it's not just about getting high. Rather, we've come to recognize, and as you've heard from the speakers already and you'll hear from other people, that as the disease progresses, people are just looking for relief. People are looking to use or escape just to stay normal. And it is our responsibility as care providers, those of us who are in the healthcare business, and family and friends, to stand by people who are having these problems and not compound the shame that exists as this part of the disease. And in the brain circuitry where this disease resides is the connection to many other feelings and connections that create this underlying basis of shame that people have to deal with and live with every day. I'm grateful to have had this opportunity to learn so much and in the process help other people. And as Lisa shared in my introduction, that the recovery concepts that we use for treating addiction and mental health problems are not limited to just people with addiction and mental health problems. These are principles for recovery, for health, and well-being for every one of us. This is a disease that affects every single family. If any of you are sitting there thinking that addiction has not affected your family and friends, please look again. Because we've also come to recognize that this is, disease goes beyond substances. And as part of the definition of addiction, we've managed to develop five simple characteristics that people can identify which are listed as A, B, C, D, E on our website. And through the definition of addiction at ASAM, which are inability to consistently abstain, that's the A, impairment in behavioral control, that's the B, cravings, that's the C, diminished recognition of interpersonal problems, that's the D, and a dysfunctional emotional response. And it is the D and the E that really make this a chronic disease, and as Linda shared, people need to focus on recovery every day, and it is a daily reprieve, because we don't have a cure yet, although many of my colleagues and friends are working towards finding more solutions, and finding solutions behaviorally, but also finding solutions medication-assisted wise, and also finding solutions socially and spiritually, which is why all of us need to stay involved. Thank you all for coming, thank you for this opportunity, and I wish you all a happy recovery day, and recovery for your family and friends one day at a time. Thank you very much.